Hi, this is Patty from WixByPattysPearls.com. Wig Security 101. Even though we customize your wig and we'll sew it, thin it, cut it, put elastic in to make it fit you comfortably and you feel very secure, there are those times when you need extra security. I remember I went to my son's Baylor graduation in uh, Texas. And I was so afraid, it was outside, and I was so afraid that my wig was going to go tumbling off with the tumbleweeds. So I needed extra security that day. And there are two ways I want to show you how to do it. One is by tape. We sell this in the accessories. It's three-fourths inch or a half an inch. They come in little strips, which makes it very easy for you. You take your wig off, and you can turn it inside out. And you can put two pieces of tape at the top and two pieces of tape in the back. Or you can put one. It doesn't matter, really. I'm going to use one today for time. And you put it right on that moleskin. This is the top of the wig where your bangs would be. And you put it right in the center and just run it around and press it firmly into the moleskin. On the back, we're going to do the very same thing. I'm going to take a piece of tape, take off the backing, then we're going to take that tape, and I'm going to very carefully, not to get the hair, but go just along the line of the moleskin. Press it down, and now you've got your two tapes, one in the back and one in the front. You now lift off the top piece of the tape, and now you have double-sided tape. In the back, you lift off one and lift on the other. See how easy that is? They have it all prepared for you. Then you're going to turn your wig inside out and hold it in the back and proceed to put your wig on just like you normally do. If some hairs get caught in the tape like this has, just pull them out. You don't want your bangs to get caught in the tape. I just kind of pull them off the tape. Now, take it in the back. Put your wig on as you normally do. I run up to my temple tabs, pull out my little customized hairs all the way around the wig so I have that hairline. Then at the top, I take it up to my hairline where I want it to be. Now the most important thing about either putting on tape or using the glue is that you do not want to do what you just feel like you would normally do. Just press it down like this on top of your wig and it would stay. If you do that and you do it too many times, what you'll get is a bald spot here or you'll get flat hair because the heat from your hands is pressing on the hair. I want you to go back to the wig line and then just take your fingers and press the edge underneath the bangs. Do you see how I'm doing that, love? This is really a trick that's so important to learn because now, if when I go like that, I still have my poofy bangs. I haven't roughed them up and caused them to frizz here. And look, dee, 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 dee. the sucker will stay on through a tornado. But when you want to take it off, you just go like this and lift. Will it pull a few hairs? Maybe. But I've never been totally bothered by it. And then you can just take the tape right off and throw it away. The next thing you can do is called It Stays. And this was designed by a prosthetic company and it was used to, uh, on the chest cavity and then to attach the breast prosthesis. It had to be, I think, like a size A or a small B. But this works wonderful for gluing on your wig. It's hypoallergenic. Uh, it's very, very safe. If you can put it on your chest cavity wall, you can easily put it on your head. You just roll it. If you've got little hairs that are sticking out, especially if you're growing your hair back, and of course, when your hair starts growing back, of course, where does it grow? It grows on the back of your neck, which drives you crazy. So you can go to the back and go up like this, and see how I'm just rolling up those little big hairs? Then they're going to stay up there and they're not going to stick out of your wig and cause the back of your wig to stick out. 
Now you've got the rolling here, you've got it in the back, and you just take your wig, put it on like normal, temple taps, pull the hair out, pull the hair out. Now take it up, most important part, take it up to your hairline, go under your bangs, and just tap on that edge like that and like that. Now look, I swear you could go through a tornado and still have your hair. By the way, I've got on Natalie Shaded Praline. Everybody always asks me, so I'm telling you now. Natalie Shaded Praline. Sexy little wig. Have a great day and be secure.